freak electrical storm ravages harmony. <sighs> and local witch loses her power saving lives. How do I look? Oh. Okay, I'd be lying if I didn't say you were a beautiful, beautiful bride. Aww, oh, thanks, Jennifer. <sighs> Can't believe I'm really marrying Miguel. Oh, well, after loving him virtually all your life, your dream is finally coming true. <laughs> no, it really is, isn't it? <sighs> well, I'm so glad that you and Endora are going to go now that you're not a witch anymore. Oh, yes. Well, uh, uh, about uh, the wedding, um, actually... Uh... Look at you. <laughs> you look so beautiful. Oh, thanks, Dad. This is the happiest day of my life. And I'm so happy for you. You know, you, Miguel, and Maria have a wonderful life ahead of you. Mm, well, if we're half as happy as you and Mom were, then it will be. You know, I'll never forgive myself for hurting you both. Hey, we all make mistakes. And what matters most is that we learn from them, okay? And you have. I want you to be happy, and I know that Grace does too. Thanks, Dad. I love you. I love you too. Blah, blah, blah. Mm, I just wish Jess could have made it back in time for the wedding. Yeah, having Jess here would make things perfect, wouldn't it? Yeah, but I completely understand. I mean, completing rehab is more important than my wedding. I think they're both important. So do I. <laughs> Jess! <laughs> oh, my God! Did you think I could let you get married without a big hug from me? I'm so glad you were able to leave rehab and meet me before my wedding. Mm. I just wish you could be there. I would love for you to be my maid of honor. I know, I would too, but the program is very strict. Weddings are a no-no. All that booze mm -hmm. and all that family drama, that's probably worse. But once my sobriety set in stone, I'll come back and be a full member of the family. I can't wait. Mm -hmm. oh, I know, I know it was so hard for you to get away from Spike and all those drugs. It helps having little Sam with me at rehab. And he's a constant reminder of what I have to live for. That's great, Jess. I really am starting over, Kay. I'm going back to college to get my degree and see where things go with Reese. Wait. <laughs> Reese? Durkee? <laughs> <laughs> he heard I was in rehab through Simone. Um, and we've been in touch. And, well, he's thinking about leaving Boston to move back to Harmony. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I have got to tell Miguel. Oh, I'm so glad you two are finally getting married. I know. I've loved him my whole life. Mm, even when he loved charity. When I think of all the plots and schemes you had just to break them up. Oh, don't, don't. No. Everything you did, you did for love, Kay. And I get that now. I'm just glad you're happy. You deserve it. Thanks, Jess. Well, you deserve to be happy, too. And you will be. I know it. Thank you. Kay's right. We've been in so back on track. <laughs> <laughs> Onward and upward. Uh, I just wish Mom were here so she could see that we're all okay. She knows, Kay. Grace knows. I haven't the heart to tell them their happiness won't last. The end is coming for Harmony and everyone in it. That's why Endora and I must leave post-haste. Or even we may not make it out of here. <laughs> well, Miguel should be at the church right now, so we should probably get going. Yeah, yeah, let's, uh... Oh, almost forgot. Um, this came for you oh. this morning. It's from... It's from Simone. Oh. She's still in New Orleans with T.C. and Whitney after Vincent murdered a lesbian lover, Ray, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, it says, Dear Kay, I'm so sorry I can't be there for your special day, but helping Whitney with Miles and the baby and daddy is practically a full-time job. 
God knows it's about time you married Miguel, and I'll be there with you in spirit. I wish you two and Maria the best, now and always. P.S. I couldn't resist sending you something new for your big day. I hope you like it. Love, Simone. Yeah, it's so thoughtful, isn't it, Simone? Ah, mm-hmm. 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 oh, they're beautiful. Oh, they're lovely. Oh my gosh, they're so pretty. Mm-hmm. On. Oh, jeez, that was so sweet of Simone. I know it they're was. Gorgeous. It was, wasn't it? You know, I'll never forget how Simone stood up for me to Spike. His threats didn't scare her in the least. Simone and Puma really tried to help me break free of Spike. I mean, Simone even sent me letters when I was in rehab telling me that I could make a clean break from Spike without losing my baby. And she was right. Simone and Paloma have been such great friends to us. I know. I can't wait to catch up with them after rehab. Well, I'm going to talk to them, and I'm going to tell them that you look fabulous. (laughs) Aww. Gosh, okay, well, you know what? We should probably get going and uh, give little Sam a big kiss from me. I will. I love you, Kay. I love you too, Jess. <clears throat> Jess, honey. Got to get you back to the rehab place uh, before we go to church. <laughs> it's half of them. Bye, Kay. Come on, honey. You really gotta go. So, um, I'll see you and Endora at the church? Well, okay, actually, I don't, um, I'm not sure about coming to the church. (laughs) Oh, come on, Tabitha, please. Uh, I really want you and Endora to be there. It would mean so much to me. Well, we'll see, dear. But uh, anyway, I do have a little gift for you. Um, Actually, Cleopatra gave this to me on my wedding day. Oh, my gosh. (laughs) The Cleopatra gave this to you? (laughs) (sighs) Yes. Unfortunately, I... I wound up helping her die, but, you know, I was a witch with a job to do. (laughs) You were married in ancient Egypt? (laughs) No, yes, I've been married dozens of times down through the ages. Needless to say, I've survived all my husbands. (laughs) (laughs) Wow. (laughs) But the point is um, uh, that I've always cherished this bracelet, as I cherish you, my dear. (laughs) <laughs> Thank you so much. I love you, Tapa. <laughs> you and Dora. We love you too, sweetheart. Now, off you go. Run off to the church. Miguel is waiting to make you his wife. Happiest day of my life. <laughs> Tabitha? How did you get here before we did? You weren't even dressed when we left. <sighs> No, well, I, I, um, I got, I got dressed in the car, in the car, as my great niece Doreen was driving us here. You didn't mention that she had company before. No, no, I didn't want to steal Jessica's thunder in surprising case. Well, I'm just glad you're here. (laughs) Well, I'm going to go check on Noah. Um, nice to have met you. (laughs) Okay. Okay. I thought you lost your powers and you're not a witch anymore. I'm not. And Dora zapped us here. <laughs> are you a teenager again? Yeah. My powers are whack since Mom lost hers. I'm just glad I managed to get us both here in time for your wedding. Me too. Oh, I'm so glad you're here. And you know what? I don't care what that prophecy said. I know that we're all going to live happily ever after. I wish that were true, Kay, but I just don't see it happening. Oh, Maria looks so cute going down the aisle as the flower girl. Isn't she, though? Miguel's beaming like the proud papa he is. (laughs) Mm -hmm. 
And then Dora looks so proud of her little best friend. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's almost time. My little girl, all grown up. Oh, Dad. Miguel's a very lucky man. Well, I'm lucky, too. I have wanted to marry him practically my entire life. And it's finally, it's finally happening. <laughs> Well, you and Miguel have a very special love. And I know the two of you are going to be very happy together. Thanks, Dad. And I, and I know now that, that you love Ivy the way that I love Miguel, and I'm okay with that. <laughs> Thank you. You know, I love your mother very much. And I'm so sorry that she's not here, but... You now, Ivy was my first love. And, uh... I never got over losing her any more than she got over losing me, so I just... I understand. I, I, I really do. <sighs> Sit. I love you. I love you too. Now let's get you hitched. <laughs> <laughs>